Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Wednesday, May 1st. Got another beautiful day in the neighborhood here. Not a cloud in the sky, lots of sun, very light winds. I got a little bit of a ground swell, a little, little wind wave action here on the beach. Still two to three foot. It's been kind of residual here for the better part of this week, and now it looks like it's going to last the rest of this week into the weekend. Uh, as you can see, it's about two foot, three foot. Looks like it's gonna stay that way, possibly jumping up more to three, four foot range closer this weekend. Uh, right now, light winds. I see tomorrow we got some warmer, warmer days. Looks like it's gonna be up in the 70 degree range here. It's kind of um, a little on the cooler side here by the ocean than you're gonna see main, uh, say on the mainland. It's the other day I had, uh, I was in the 80s when I was on the parkway running some errands. Um, got back here to the island, it dropped about 20 degrees when you come over the bridge. But uh, be on the lookout for good, beautiful weather and good, awesome fishing. Here in the Long Beach Island area, we've got striped bass. There's a few bluefish and there's a few black drum on the surf. Still some action on the bay side. Fluke opens up on May 4th, just a couple days away here, so we're looking forward to that. And you gotta make sure you know the New Jersey recreational tog fishing is closed. It closed down yesterday's the last day at the end of April. As I take a stroll here in Long Beach Island, I can share that basically the entire LBI's beaches for the past couple weeks here have been strong with surf fishing. The action has been best on clam. Almost got my feet wet there. Uh, best action has been on clam on the beach. Anglers fishing fresh clam, also salted clam. We did get our season's fresh deliver, first uh, delivery fresh bunker in earlier in the week. A couple reports on bunker. We actually got more reports on frozen bunker uh, earlier, say last week, um, than more recently here. Not saying the fresh isn't catching, just just the, the, based on the say time frame that it's been available in the, in the uh, region, more reports uh, say beforehand. But yesterday I heard some good quality fishing. Jamie Gramley uh, shared that he got some good quality bass. He was on the beach, been putting a lot of time and catch a lot of fish this spring. So shout out to Jamie. A uh, number of anglers out there catching fish. I know Dave Warner and mates uh, hit the shop yesterday and went up to the beach and the students got into some fish. Uh, I saw he tagged us in a post. Some, so. It's good to see they got out and um, had some fun. Like I mentioned, most all the action on the LBI surf right now in the suds has been on clam. Fortunately, we have fresh clam. Fortunately, we got more coming. So if you're looking to get out and get in the action, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters located in Long Beach Island. We're in a town of Ship Bottom. When you enter the island, we're right after the first travel on the right-hand side. Be sure to swing in, get some gear. Maybe you need some, uh, some new line for the season. Definitely gonna wanna get some circle hooks for bait fishing for striped bass. Definitely going to get some fresh clams. Maybe you need a new clam knife, some weights, a bucket, rod, reel, sand spike. It's really all you need. You can also head up to the beach and fish some lures. Keep it simple. Small diamond jig, small paddle tail, small bucktail. Uh, when I say small, about one ounce range. Maybe go ounce and a half, something like that. Uh, springtime, I do really good on poppers, pencil poppers, and also metal lip swimmers. Those would also be two great lures. SP or Yozuri, um, the, the Daiwa SP Minnow or the Yozuri. Uh, LC Minnow, two awesome lures as well. Also check out the uh, Yozuri Mag Daughters, another one of my standouts for the springtime. Do really good on those year in and year out. Uh, hopefully you guys been getting out. Hope you're getting out and enjoying the weather, enjoying the good fishing, boat fishing, um, kind of a lot, a lot of different things going on. Um, been hearing some action in the bay side. Uh, seems like the drum bite there has kind of slowed down a little bit, but like I mentioned, there has been some, some drum on the surf caught. Uh, water temperature off the beach is about 50, I think it's about 50, 52 degrees, maybe 49, 52, something in that range. Um, you're going to see, obviously, in the sunnier days like this, no clouds. It's going to warm up in the afternoons. Uh, from all the reports I've been getting, it seems like the, the bite's been around the high tide. It's the last incoming uh, around the hump there, high tide. Uh, right now, at this time, this report is incoming tide. I believe high tide today is at 2 o'clock. Uh, so you're going to be fishing, say, midday into the afternoon. Um, there have been fish caught, you know, throughout the tides as well, but that's been somewhat the best tide that, that I've been getting um, kind of shared with me. Uh, as you see, water's clean, water's green, beautiful day, just enough white water coming across the sandbars, uh, give you a little bit of motion to the ocean. Got a beautiful little sandbar right here, nice little cut, just a couple blocks from my house, so anybody's looking to get out, there's, there's really good water, mid-beach, uh, mid-island, the mid-island beaches. Uh, hearing some good reports coming from really, you know, Brant Beach right up right up to Harvey Cedars. Uh, I'm sure there's some fish taking place up on the north end and south end. Uh, as, part, as far as my last couple reports, 
it's really this kind of the same theme. It's springtime here, water's warming up, a lot of different species showing up. Uh, still some kingfish around, some blowfish, they're, they're gonna be showing up in, in better numbers here as the days progress. Um, some big quality striped bass, also some slots and unders. So we got a range of striped bass, really from, from the smalls all the way up to the trophies. Um, if you're not aware, Long Beach Island has the Simply Bassing Spring Surf Fishing Tournament, it's 20 bucks, you can sign up anytime. It's running into June, I don't really remember the exact date, but uh, you, know, you can weigh a slot fish in. Uh, if you have an overfish, we're doing a catch and release. It's been a couple years, uh, I guess this is the, I don't know, a couple years we've been running it, both in the fall and the spring. This might be the first time doing it in the spring, maybe it's the second, I forget. But uh, Surf Masters is a catch and release. You know, basically uh, put your badge down, get your number, or write it on a cardboard or a piece of paper in a bag, something like that. Take a picture of the fish with a ruler above it or below it so you can get a good uh, identification on the size. Take a picture, email it in, and you can get it, um, you know, get on the board and, and uh, Win, win some prizes. So if you're not aware about that, just give a quick little Google LBI Surf Masters or LBI Simply Bassing. You can check that out and uh, hopefully get in, participate, get in some uh, awesome fishing here this spring and, and have some fun winning some prizes. Once again, it's Greg at Fisherman's Headquarters. Fishing's good right now, weather's good. Time to get down, hit the water, tight lines. Have a great day.